Hello, my gorgeous Aquarius. Welcome back to Fifi and Gigi's Tarot Readings. I hope you're all feeling absolutely and just utterly wonderful. Also, for everyone that is tuning in to uh, this reading here at Fifi and Gigi's Tarot Readings, thank you so, so much for your time. It is always much appreciated. That's why I want to jump straight in. Um, I don't want to lose any time. This is the Romance Angel Oracle card deck I will be using to kind of wrap up the reading for additional messages. So this is the clarifying deck without making everything too messy. This is the main deck. So I'll be using the, um, the Harmony Tarot deck and this is the Guardian Angel Messages um, Tarot deck. All the links are below. So Aquarius, this reading, my beautiful, intelligent water bearers, this reading will be for those that are 100% single and you're really curious or you want to know about, or maybe you're ready for new love, new love, new adventures, new faces. So if you are in a committed relationship right now, and it's going wonderful, great. I hope it stays that way. If, it, if you're in a relationship that's on again or off again, or you're dealing with someone from your past, or you're thinking about someone from your past, this is definitely not your reading, but there is always a but. Do check out your playlist. You have a dedicated playlist for you. And all the readings that Gigi and I do for you here in Australia every Friday, they are always uh, timeless readings. So if you do look at your playlist, Aquarius, there are different titles there. So you will definitely be drawn to one um, of those readings for you. So for my 100% single Aquarius, looking for new love, wondering about new love. Here we go. I really want to find out who this person is. Sometimes I do get initials, first, last name, some characteristics, personality traits, but I really want to pinpoint or at least kind of really narrow down where you're going to meet this person and also give you a rough timeline. Two more for the collective, of course, watching this. We need to be just a little bit generous with time. Give a little bit of room, a little bit of leeway, right? The five of swords, ten of wands. Oh, Sagittarius. Your past. My hat goes off to you. Ten of swords, ten of wands, a five of swords. You've been through a lot. You have been through a lot. But guess what? All the tens represent the end of a cycle, so no more. No. Yeah, they're already telling me right romance is on the horizon. You can literally see it. Four, three, two. One more. All right. For my beautiful Aquarius. I'm hearing, yeah, some of you either went through a very painful, nasty breakup or just an, an emotionally exhausting, mentally exhausting divorce here. Bottom of the deck, what's swimming around you, please? Well, of course, we've got renewal. There we go. That's judgment right here. Reflection, self-evaluation, rebirth, right? That's judgment, Scorpio energy. What a love. And a lot of people do not know this. But now you do, because I also believe kind of in an express way to also educate you with tarot, especially when you start seeing other readers, right, on YouTube or in person. When judgment is present, it's because you are more than ready. And whoever this new person is, both of you are more than ready to make this work. So things are going to start speeding along. So instead of meeting this person in October, for example, you might meet them in May, June or July. Mm -hmm. Six of Pentacles. That is a uh, Taurus energy. This is going to be a very well-balanced relationship. That's what you are seeking. Equal give and take. The stuff that you want, Aquarius, in a relationship are all free. Love, loyalty, respect, trust, free hugs. They are all free. Um, and I see here that you've got a very, you're very generous. You're very char charitable. And so is this person. Now, very interesting. We've got the Knight of Wands, Sagittarius, Leo, Aries energy. Now, Aquarius, for those that are changing jobs, if you're going to be changing houses, if you want adventure, doesn't matter what type of travel, whether it is for personal or work, although the Knight of Wands is more strongly tied to traveling for work, even if it's a research, I need to meet this new factor, I need to do this interview here, that's where you will most likely meet this person. Go with passion, go with confidence, with that zest and that adventurous life. The Knight of Wands is usually the knight in shining armor, right? It's Mr. or Mrs. Wright. You are going to meet the one, oh my God. So early in the relationship, look at this. The Ten of Cups, Pisces, energy, family, love, blessings. This is like literally having it all. 
meeting the one, commitment, a short engagement, marriage if we want to, and it's going to be well balanced because we have Sagittarius here. We're releasing the past. That's the death card. Scorpio energy. Both of you will transform each other for the better here. Your happily ever after awaits. Oh my God. And this is all because I want you to think really, like really sit down. You're probably sitting down. But what I'm trying to say, Aquarius, is think about the areas of your life that uh, you are currently in the process of changing or you want to change. You're entertaining those thoughts. I don't like this job. You know what? I don't even like this relationship I'm in. There's something wrong here with my friends. I need to start moving. I need to, you know, even if you want to travel and it doesn't have to be somewhere like St. Tropez. It could even be just going somewhere interstate for a day or two. That is when you meet this person. And I'm just letting you know right now they are on their way because you might have heard other readers saying, wait, be patient, divine timing. No, now it's your turn, Aquarius. Let me split the deck. This is going to directly impact you directly in a positive way. It's the last card of the, ma the major arcana, if I can talk. It's a card of completion. Look at that accomplishment, celebration, completion. You have, this is the card of graduation. And why I say this is going to be uh, directly impacting you, because we have four fixed signs here, and you're one of them. Leo, Scorpio, Taurus, Aquarius energy. So for those that are traveling interstate, overseas, creating changes, that's where you meet this person. So think of travel, movement, adventure. Oops, I just dropped one card that was going there. Let's do this properly. So both of you have completed a cycle to the past. The past has its own place in the past. It has no business being here in um, the present. Let's put down three cards for Aquarius, please. Three cards for this new person coming into your life. I real, I'm getting that could be very strong fire energy, but this person loves adventure. They love travel. They love how you think. You're very intelligent. It's like that juicy brain of yours. I absolutely love it. Let's talk about you, please. You're going to get some messages here. The page of fire. This is actually my favorite page. Creative, enthusiastic, motivated. It's time to get excited, Aquarius, because for those that are traveling for work, that want to implement changes for your career, advancement, knowledge, research, that's when you get a message from this person. It could be a new client, new customer, new colleague, new boss, um, a new partnership, a new associate. The Page of Wands always brings the bearer of such great news. Once in a lifetime opportunity where they're saying, Aquarius, don't think too much about it. Just go for it. Let's talk more about you, please. Oh, this person is seeing you as the emperor. And again, like I said, this person could also be a boss. Look at that. The Emperor is Aries energy and we are kind of in Aries season. I think we're going like literally toward the end of Aries season right now. Organization, leadership, structure, people look up to you. You're just a natural born leader, Aquarius. I've always known that about you. You find solutions. You're known as probably the most intelligent star sign and the scientist as well. So some of you may love horror, science fiction. You don't have to. They're just kind of general traits there. But yeah, take the lead because this person is seeing you as the Emperor. It's going to work out. The six of wands. So this is Leo energy, success, recognition, self-esteem. This person is strongly tied here to either your professional life or creative endeavors. And all of this happens when you create movement and when you travel. They're just literally there. Now, this person actually could also be, this could also be you as well. We've got singer, songwriter, poet, writer, screenwriter, model, actor, singer, someone that's creative. They could be also an influencer doing stuff online, um, reaching a global audience here. You're going to be, this is going to be a, a very successful year for you, not just for your creative um, pursuits and endeavors, but also for your career. And that's where you meet this person. Let's talk about them, please. They have the two of pentacles, Capricorn energy. Well, someone's a busy bee. Someone's very, very busy. Who are they? The, look how messy this got. I don't like when the cards, you know, when they start spinning because I like to take care of them. So this person is the king of cups, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer energy. They are compassionate, understanding, trustworthy. That is a big one here, okay? We need to trust this person. They also could um, be any gender here. This is someone that wants to invest in you. Seven of Pentacles, Taurus energy, investment, assessment, patient. Oh, I like that. This is a very patient person. They are single. They are emotionally mature, intuitive, empathetic, loyal. They're all about the home and the family here. Wow. 
Yeah, this okay. This person could be a banker. They could also be into property investment or even commercial investment, stocks, um, options, Bitcoin, forex stuff like that. So they're very good with their money here. But they're very busy here at the moment. They could be handling multiple projects here or making sure that money doesn't slip through their fingers. So again, creative pursuits, something that you do creative, or it could be with your career. Literally, I'm going to say this person can be older than you. They could be a, a business owner. They could literally be your new boss. Please don't let that stop you. I'm just saying. Mutual energies between the both of you. You don't know each other yet. The high priestess, Pisces energy. Look what she's doing. She's like hiding. She's like, no, don't look at the scroll. No, no, no. This is something you need to find out for yourself. You're both highly intuitive. I love that. You both have wisdom. You both have cult cultivated patience here, right? Um, but a lot of people don't like seeing the high priestess because the high priestess is saying, we're going to tell you something about this person, but we want to leave an element of surprise here. So yeah, the high priestess may block some information. Oh my God, are you kidding me? Oh my God, Aquarius, get ready. The beating heart of the reading of what, what, what? Look at this, I mean, I mean ugh, look at that. I'm even like stumbling over my own words. I feel like that's what this person's going to do. You may do it as well. You've got the card of true love, the ace of cups, representing one month, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. You won't see it coming, but you're gonna be pleasantly surprised and it's going to impact you directly because we have the six of swords, which is Aquarius energy relief hope moving on moving on from the past no more of the past no more merry-go-round here um, Aquarius or people wasting your time so if you do need to travel doesn't matter how short or how long the trip is that's where you meet this person and they are strongly tied to a your creative pursuits something creative right something that you love you're passionate about or your career they are there and it's destined this is beautiful this is wow and I love the King of Cups. This is someone that's in control of their emotions. Both of you have very boss-like energy. Two. One more. Yeah, you're not going to have to. They're literally on their way. They're on their way. No more waiting. I've had people say to me, you know, emails like, oh, I've been waiting two years. Where is this person? Um, if we actually do follow the advice, remember you have free will because tarot always gives you power. They never take it away from you. That's not the purpose of um, tarot. If that was it, I would never be a tarot reader. That's terrible. But if we do follow the suggested advice, it's the suggested advice here, we get to meet this person a lot more quicker. So for example, if we, can't, if we get cards saying, say yes to all the invitations um, or the strength card saying, hey, you know what, if we take care of ourselves, we might meet them at the gym. Um, yeah, we need to take those seriously. We need to heed what they say. Five, four, three, two, one. And that often involves doing things out of the norm, things that we actually normally wouldn't do. That's when we meet this person. But I feel like they're just, they're already on their way. Bottom of the deck, five of pentacles. That is Taurus energy. I am feeling, I actually didn't want to say it. I don't want to turn you off. And you're not, you're not that materialistic person. But I do feel here your person may be juggling with money. They probably made some bad investments here. Money could have been lost or stolen, never returned. They borrowed it to someone and it was never returned here. I do feel here that your person is going to fear that you may reject them. Because initially at the stage we are both strangers. You definitely work with this person. You either study, whoa, where did this card come from? Four of Cups, where did it come from? Was behind you? I'm still gonna keep it. The Four of Cups here, Cancer energy. A person might be feeling a bit despondent, a bit bored with their life. It's like, what's the point, right? Feeling a little bit melancholic because they want that spark. They want this and uh, you're both gonna give it to each other. Now we do have the Three of Pentacles, Capricorn energy. Obviously it could be teamwork. Um, we meet this person through our studies, our finances, our careers, projects, um, creative endeavors where we need to be on board. Uh, this person instantly wants to be Team Aquarius and look at that. They want to give you the Ten of Pentacles, Virgo energy. That's the dream life manifested. It's going to be a very abundant relationship. Look at that. We've also got the Six of Pentacles, a very well-balanced relationship here. Equal. Look at these pentacles are slow moving energies, but boy, once they arrive, it is grounded. It is sure, right? We also move on. Look at this, the ace. 
rolls over to the two. This is a soulmate connection. If you don't believe in love at first sight, at least believe being smitten at first sight. That's a soulmate um, connection right there. Look at this. The King of Cups came out twice. There he is. This person's going to love you. They're going to love you hard and they're going to be very loyal to you. Let's talk about you with that page of wands is the opportunity to travel, to move forward. We've got the six of swords again. You're moving into karma waters. You're moving into the lake of tra tranquility. Any offers you get, even if you apply for jobs, you pitch for a loan, you pitch for this idea for investors, whatever it is that you want to move forward, it's going to be a big fat yes. You've got nothing to worry about. And again, you're inching yourself closer and closer to this person. The emperor for you, please, is clarified by the nine of pentacles. Excellent. You are very independent. You're single as a Pringle, ready to mingle. And everything that you've done has led you to this moment. You're literally surrounded by pentacles. I feel like many of you are like natural born leaders, entrepreneurs, and that's probably why this person might find you a little bit, a tad intimidating, but it's not going to stop them though. I just love that you, you know what you want, Aquarius. You, we've always known that. Something's working out for you. Ooh, sorry, I didn't mean to scream into the microphone. <laughs> I'm getting too enthusiastic. The Nine of Cups, Pisces energy, you're looking to the future. You're about to meet the one. I never say that lightly. I never say like the one, true love. It bears a lot of weight and a lot of expectations, but I'm gonna say with confidence and with gusto, your wish fulfillment, think about everything that you want in a relationship, the qualities, the characteristics, the type of lifestyle, you're gonna get it and things are gonna work out. Now, when the cups is present, pause the video and make a wish. Make as many wishes, I said wishes. <laughs> make as many wishes as you want because they're all gonna come true. This is beautiful. Your person is the two um, of pentacles. All right. I see that this is going to happen when they're very busy. So when they see you, what are they going to do? They want a brand new, passionate, fiery start with you. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy, like instant smitten at first sight, but also very attracted to you. The way you conduct yourselves. Uh, they're actually telling me they're going to compliment either your perfume, or your perfume or your cologne. So that's how you will know. They're like, mm, you smell nice. What perfume is that? What cologne is that? And it's like, uh, yeah, it's this person. Remember when I said this, please. The King of um, Cups, please. Ah, you got, they got my favorite knight. The Knight of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy. So this is someone that is very practical, very loyal. They're very grounded here. They want to offer you something of value, something promising, right? Something that just adds even more to your life. I absolutely love this. They may actually, as much as they want this to move forward, even when they're in their life, yes, they may take a bit of time here to open up to you. It's only because they have a bit of a hard time expressing their feelings because they don't want to be rejected by you. That's all. But slow and steady wins the race. I mean, there is no race, but slow and steady, it does guarantee that it's going to be, well, victorious. The Seven of Pentacles, please, is the Seven of Wands. Ooh, two sevens. Seven is a number of peace. This is Leo energy. They're going to do whatever it takes to be in your life to win you over. You are worth fighting for. You are worth it. Wow. I like this person's attitude. I love your attitude. Let's talk about the high priestess in the middle, please. It's the magician. Could be a Gemini Virgo energy. This is the start of something wonderful. And I don't know whether you are aware of it or this person is. Maybe you are, maybe you're not. But you have both been manifesting each other into your lives. And both of you have all the tools now the tools of experience, wisdom, to start fresh now. Brand new beginnings. This is wonderful. You know, the magician is often also known as the one. A lot of people don't know that. We've got brand new love coming your way. There's that page of wands. Say yes to this person. Please say yes. They're going to be asking you out first. I'm hearing it's like something casual, casual, after work drinks and all that. Say yes, because you're moving into karma waters. This may also reflect what you're moving away from. Let's see. Oh my God. <laughs> this is the start of something beautiful and the rest is history. We have the world card. Remember you are in here and this will directly impact you. You have graduated from your past experiences. We've got Aquarius, Leo, um, Taurus, Scorpio. We've got their Aquarius energy. Yeah, this person might be a foreigner, 
worldly travel they could have an accent different cultural background here a different view of things but they're very respectful that's what i love they're very open-minded they're it's almost like it's not like well we do things this way you have to do it no 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 there's a lot of respect here so again for those that are indeed traveling overseas or interstate that's where you meet this person but they're very strongly tied here to your creative pursuits your creative endeavors and also your career the rest is history. I feel like, I hope, I hope I remember so I can put that in your title. You know what? I'm going to pause the video and I'm going to write it. I've got my notebook. I'm going to write it down. One second. All right. I just did it. I wrote it down. I wrote it down here. I never do that, but I didn't want to forget. The rest is history. You meet and the rest is history. This is true love. That's what I wrote. So they're telling me to get out seven cards. This one, please. Hang on. What are they saying? This is for your person. Okay. I always listen to my spirit team. They never lead me astray. So. Oh, thank you. This one. All right. Okay. <laughs> they said a big fat no. The right ones always come. I just got to be a little bit patient. Don't worry. The right ones always come. Thank you, spirit. That one. <sighs> one more. Thank you. Bottom of the deck. Yeah, I knew it. This person could be from different religious background, cultural background. It could, could even be an age difference here. But that's not even going to be an issue. Split the deck. Yeah, give this relationship a chance. Say yes. That's why, you know, your spirit team's imploring you. You got the page of wands twice. Don't think about it. Just say yes. Finances and career. So I feel here that that's how you're going to meet this person. They're strongly tied to, like I said, creative or professional um, pursuits here. Ooh, we got wedding. This situation involves marriage. So yes, we could literally end up being having a very quick engagement, a short engagement and marrying this person. But this actually also means, you know, elevating it to that level of commitment where we literally feel that we're married to this person. You deserve love. This is for both of you. You are both lovable. You deserve each other. They said this is for your person. Why is that? Let me see. Ah, forgiving and learning. Something happened in their past. Hmm, look at that. So instead of you, I'm going to say as they release and heal the past, they experience more love in their present moment. All right. Okay. There's some, some stuff that they do need to work on and balance, but that's fine. Let your friends help you. So again, if we get invited to um, events, even if our co-workers and our boss invite us, say yes. More please. Oh, <laughs> beautiful. Um, yes, this is your soulmate. How beautiful is that image? Love yourself first. This is for your person. Yeah. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Okay, there could be issues perhaps with your person, with the self-esteem, the self-confidence, self-worth, self-love. I don't want to beat your person up too much because we have all been there. We've all hit rock bottom. We're not good enough. We're not this. We're not that here. I just feel there could be some trauma here um, in their past. Something also to do with a child. Um, or their childhood here as well. They could have experienced a loss here. This is for you, Aquarius. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. This is beautiful. I'm happy that I wrote the title first because get ready. You're about to have fun. You're going to go into calmer waters. It's going to be smooth sailing. So whatever you're doing, Aquarius, keep doing it. Keep taking action. You're not going to be single much more longer because now it is your turn to be happy. Power to you, and I'll see you in the next few weeks, Aquarius. Bye.